Hello my crafty friends. Today we are going to make this little dresser. Everyone's been asking for a tutorial so I'm going to attempt it to do a tutorial. I've never done one. This will be my first one so I'm going to need y'all to give me some feedback and comments and let me know if there's anything I should do different or you know if you'd like to see more of something else one way or another I'm going to do this tutorial in two parts the first part is assembling the little dresser the second part will be decorating it so um, let's get started and remember if you have any comments or anything let me know okay <coughs> excuse me my sinus medicine has not kicked in yet um, you're gonna need a few tools you don't need a whole lot for this project you're gonna need a little screwdriver you're gonna need some scissors and you're gonna need a paintbrush um, I've got two because I'm gonna use two different colors of paint I've got pink the acrylic deco art and I've got metallic gold which I put around the edges I don't know yeah you can see I put around the edges right here the gold so we're gonna use that for that um these kept rolling away so I'd put them in a cup <laughs> these are what we're gonna use for the legs um these are the little wooden candle holders that you get in the wood section at Hobby Lobby and Michaels these are some little round wooden balls they're flat on one side I don't know yeah you can see right there how they're flat on one side ah they keep rolling away from me but um that's how we're gonna make our legs we're gonna put those two pieces together you can see right here there's the little candle holder there's the little ball this ball is actually a little tiny bit bigger than the ones I have today I ordered some I thought I ordered the right ones and I ordered these and it ended up being bigger than those and they don't look right but the smaller ones look fine um, this is what the little candle holders look like they come eight pieces in a pack so you have enough for two dressers I'm actually going to list these on my eBay and you'll be able to buy a pack of these I'm not sure exactly how much yet but I'll do the cheapest possible you're also going to need for the handles some little tiny tassels um, I don't remember where I got these and I don't remember how much they were I've had them for a really long time and I only had four white and I got four purple I'm gonna use purple today and I might even change my paint color a little bit but there are let's see they are probably about an inch long yeah about an inch a little over so you're gonna need four of those for the handles I just didn't like the little metal handles that come on these little drawers now these little drawer boxes you're gonna need two of these these are very hard to find I'm not gonna lie to you I originally found them at Dollar Tree um, and then I searched this town, two towns over, and this is what I found, besides a few others that I have gifted to people. But um, you're gonna need two of them. Now I have found them at another supplier that I might be able to order. I have to order a bunch from the supplier to get them, but if I have enough requests, I may put an order in and order some. They are a little bit more than a dollar. They're like almost two. $1.98, $2 a piece, and I have to order like, I think 30 at a time, but anyway, if I could have found two with this purple design on it, I probably would have left it that color, because it's really pretty, um, but it don't go with shabby, so I'm making this one shabby, of course, that's my favorite, first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your little dressers apart, we're going to have to disassemble now this one when I found it didn't have any handles so I don't have to worry about taking those off but this one did that's where your little screwdriver comes in oh boy I got the wrong screwdriver I got a flat head screw with a Phillips screwdriver let me see uh, okay here we go little flat head screwdriver 
and we're just gonna there's a little screw on the inside that holds it on we're just gonna unscrew the little screw it's hard to kind of get to because of the angle it's at but once you get it started you might be able to just twist if you hold it on the back side and then twist the front it comes off and then your screw will drop in now you never know when you might need these little handles they might come in handy so I do keep them and we're gonna do the same thing on the next drawer and if you get lucky to find the boxes with the little handles on all of them you would take them off of all of them so we got these and there we go now we got our four drawers and our two little boxes and I started to cover them with paper because you just some of the paper out there is really pretty but you can't get I can't I'm still kind of new to paper crafting so you still I'm not that good at it and I don't think I would be able to get the paper way down in here and everything but I can get a paintbrush down in there so I'm going to paint this and I didn't mix my paint which I should have because I want my paint a little bit lighter so I'm gonna mix some white in with it but um first of all let's go ahead and assemble the legs and put those on before we start painting um I take the flat end of the little ball there's a flat end and I'm trying to zoom in while I do this okay I hope there's enough light today all right here's your little candle holder the top's got a hole in it that doesn't matter and then your little ball has a flat end and a round end we're gonna take the flat end and glue it with your glue gun on top of the candle holder like that so I'm going to take my glue gun and just put a little bit of glue all the way around on the inside. I don't want it coming out. This is a new glue gun, so. <laughs> Alright. I don't want it squishing too much out the sides and everything, so I'm going to try to get it. Make sure it's kind of centered. I don't want it wonky on one side. So, alright, there's one. And, let me get, get it, my whole glue stick. Then we're going to do all four of them the same exact way. I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue. And then just center a little ball on top. Get all your strings off. There's two. And we're just going to do all four of them that way. I'm just kind of putting it around the outside of the hole in the center, but not all the way to the outside. Because I don't want it squishing out the sides and being globbed up on the sides around it. And the last one. I'm trying to stay in frame y'all but if you could see my setup I've got like five lights sitting around me and I don't have a proper camera holder so it's like standing up in between me <laughs> so anyway I'm gonna get it together the, the more y'all like and share and subscribe the more I'll be able to set up right if I don't do it that much I don't want to designate an area for it okay now go ahead and take the stickers off they're harder to cover up when you paint it so we're just gonna try to take this off as much as possible Usually they peel up pretty easy, but this one's not cooperating today. 
ones, yep, yeah, yeah, the other one's got one too. Now my other one worked real easy, of course, since I'm on video, I'm, it's not going as good. <laughs> like I said, this is my very first tutorial. I hope I'm making it easy enough to understand. I figured I'm not good at writing tutorials definitely so I figured if I do a video and I show then if I say it wrong you can see what I'm doing anyway <laughs> all right and <coughs> I'm just going to sand it a little bit. I got a sanding block here just to get the sticky off. It won't hurt it. Just want to get the sticky off and everything so the paint won't peel back up off of it. Okay, now I'm going to put my legs on, but the thing that you want to make sure of when you put your legs on, and this one. I didn't put them on this one before I painted it. I put them on after, so then they pulled off with the paint. So, um, but you want to make sure they're the same in front to back and same front to front because you don't want to have one leg here and one leg over here, or you know, you, you have to try to get them even going all the way across. So, um, an easy way to do that is to put a piece of tape or something on there so you can know where to put it. Um, okay, I'm just going to eyeball it and try to get my legs about the same distance in, the same distance back. That way... They don't look too funny. See, they're the same this way. And I need them to be the same across here. So, that looks pretty good to me. This one may be just a little bit off. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and glue these down. I'm kind of working at an angle because of where I have my camera and my lights and everything so we can see good and it's making it kind of hard for me to do it so I'm going to be turning things that normally I wouldn't and right here don't take a lot just a little bit so all right now that looks pretty good now, so we don't use as much paint, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue this top one onto the bottom one. And we really don't need to take this off because you're not going to see it. And I'm going to go ahead and glue them together right here, making sure I get enough glue on the edges here. And I'm going to pinch it together. So, let me... I'm going to be kind of generous with this glue and make sure, oh, I don't want to go that close to the edge. Um, working with a new glue gun. Alright, now, that's alright, down the edge here to make sure. Now you're just going to line it up and mash it down. My clips. Now I have these little clips that I like to use to mash them down and they work pretty good to help keeping it together. I love these little clips. I use them for a lot of things. Okay. Whoops. 
Let me zoom back out here where we can see. And I'm just going to let this set for a few minutes. It doesn't take hot glue long to dry. And now the next thing to do is to paint. And I'm going to... I have this light pink, cherry blossom pink. And it's a little bit darker than what I wanted, so I'm going to mix some paint. I use these little... They're actually for parties, little hors d'oeuvre cups. I use these for my paint and stuff. They work really well. And when you get done, you can just throw them away. Alright, I don't want a lot of pink because I want it to just be a pale pink. And then I'm going to mix mine with some Mod Podge uh, matte finish. I have an open one, but I don't see it. Excuse me. So, I'm just going to pour some of this in here. It takes a pretty good bit because a lot of this on the little boxes is paper and it soaks it up. So, then I have a skewer that I just mix the color with. And if it's not light enough, I'll put some more white in there. Which I don't think it's going to be. And pink is one of those colors that dry a little bit lighter than it is when it's wet. But it's still not quite light enough for me, so not what I want. I'm going to add a little bit more. Plus this too will help it stick to the paper, the Mod Podge. Mod Podge. I think we all say it wrong sometimes. But anyway, alright. Alright, that really is darker than what I wanted to, but that's okay. Um, I don't want to use up all my paint. So, you pick the color that you want to paint yours. I'm actually thinking of doing this one a little bit different. I want to do it, I really don't want to do another one exactly the same. I want two different ones, but I'm also thinking of giving one away. <laughs> so, we'll see what happens. Maybe if I get 50 subscribers, I'll give someone one of these old dressers if I can get 50 between 50 and 100 I'd like to have 100 because then I can get my own YouTube link instead of all the letters and numbers okay I'm not paying attention first thing you're gonna do is paint the inside you're gonna paint inside first and start in the sides and this is not covering very well, so we're probably going to need two coats. But we're going to paint all of our drawers and then the little dresser. And I'm sure y'all don't want to sit here and watch me every little stroke paint. So I'm going to pause the video and paint and... I will come back when everything's painted one coat. All right, talk talk for now. Okay, so I've got my little dresser painted. I gave it a really good primer coat anyway. It sealed it really good with the Mod Podge. And now I'm going to mix, I used all of that paint, but I'm going to mix a different kind of paint this time for the other coats so it'll cover a little bit better. This is the Deco Art White, just acrylic paint. And I'm gonna mix it a little bit different this time. It got too dark, so I'm gonna put the white in first this time. And I'm just gonna add a couple drops of pink to try to get just a little bit of a pink shade. I don't want it really pink pink. I just want it tinted pink mostly. And let's see if we can do a little bit better on the 
tinting this time. Now yeah, this is going to be much better. Maybe one more drop. Pink is in the red family, and red usually is one of the hardest colors to cover with. A um, long time ago when I was married, my husband actually owned a painting company, and I learned a lot about paint. I also learned that you can paint anything. Anything you want to color, you can paint it. I also learned that you can match any color. Anything that you like the color of, you can take down to the paint store or Lowe's and they can put it on a computer and make your paint to match whatever color you want. So I did learn a lot about painting when he owned his own business. I did his paperwork and sometimes I went out on the jobs, but it was very interesting to see how it come along. I will give you a good tip though. If someone, you hire someone to paint your house and they do not pressure wash it first, um, probably you should fire them and hire someone else because that voids the warranty on your paint. Most paint comes at least with a five year warranty, but the better paint like Benjamin Moore and Pratt & Lambert, they come with a 15 year warranty. But your warranty's void if you don't pressure wash the house first. Just a tip. Anyway, okay, I got my really light pink. It's just barely pink, it's a little pale. And that's what I wanted because that's what I did last time, you can see on here. I'm gonna figure out how to get good light one day, <laughs> but I just did a very light pink on this one. And that's what I want here, and it's not gonna hurt that the first coat we put on is a little bit darker. It'll just give it a little bit more of a hue. So, I'm going to start with my dresser this time. And I'm just going to paint all around the sides and the top and the back, and then I'll come back and do the inside start on the outside see this covers a lot better and we could probably use a sponge I prefer to use a brush but you could probably use a sponge one of the sponge brushes if you wanted to I just kind of like the brush And as it dries, it'll kind of dry in, and the brush marks, if they're not too bad, <laughs> if I can get them right, I'm going to flip it up and do the bottom. I'm going to paint my little legs, too. This is hard. This is the way I had to set up my camera is with it right hovering over me so it's kind of hard to work at an angle I'm gonna have to get me one of those camera holders that I've seen I forget who had it but they had the one that reaches over the table like a arm that's kind of neat so everyone should like and subscribe so if I start doing more of these, I'll set up a actual area just for making the videos and doing tutorials. But I'm going to need you to like and subscribe so I can, I will know that you want me to do more. I have some good ideas too. I, uh, thinking about. Uh, shoe 
I started actually a Halloween shoe and I'm thinking about altering it to I don't know if I want to do it Halloween I think I want to do one shabby first and I was thinking about making like a pin cushion out of it because I like making the pins that um, you make with the beads and stuff I actually made a few and put in with one of the swaps that I did in the die cut swap made a little box to put them in but um, that I'm thinking about doing that and I have a book which has gold edges that I am thinking about altering a certain way and also I want to do a clamshell I have a idea in my mind and since mermaids are really big right now I thought that would be cute so I have some ideas to do tutorials and come up with that I want to do but I don't really want to set up and designate an area until I know that this is something I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, and we'll see what happens I would really like to get at least a hundred subscribers and that way when I give someone the link to my YouTube I can do www.jellybeanjunction.com or janismore.com <laughs> instead of right now because I don't have a hundred subscribers I have to have youtube.com slash it's like U B W C W O R. It's a big long thing, and I'd really like to have a designated URL and see how that goes. Let me just hold it this way to paint this. And I'm going to go ahead and paint. I'll probably need another coat on it. Um. Just cause I'm kind of out of practice with my painting, <laughs> but we'll see. It might dry in okay. But by the time I finish this, the legs should be good enough to be able to set it down on the little legs. Also, um, while I'm doing this, I'll go ahead and tell you uh, we're still working on the challenge giveaway. Um, my brother, who is Timber Steel Studios, he does woodworking and metalworking. Um, he's actually the one that's going to sponsor the prizes for this challenge giveaway that I have. And I'm waiting on him to give me the word. I think he's waiting to see how many subscribers I get. It doesn't seem... I don't think he really we're gonna paint the inside now uh, I like to start on the back and just I hope you can see what I'm doing here I can't see the camera so I hope you can see let me move so I can see if you can see and then you're gonna have to just stick your brush in there and this time won't take as much paint because with the primer on there, the sealer that's on there with the Mod Podge and stuff that we put on, it doesn't absorb as much paint. But um, what I was saying, I think he wants to wait and see if we're going to get enough subscribers. I'm working real hard on doing some videos that I hope everyone will like so you'll subscribe and when I get enough subscribers he wants to buy 
a first place and second place scrapbook.com gift certificate and the first place winner will get a $50 gift certificate to scrapbook.com and the second place winner will get $25 to scrapbook.com gift certificate and I will even throw in a gift certificate to my eBay store I don't know how much or anything yet it's going to depend on how many entries we have the more entries the bigger the prize will get so we'll see what happens um, I'm looking for suggestions on what kind of challenge to have too I haven't been in to the swaps and all long enough to know that much about it that's another reason why we're kind of waiting to start it because I'm trying to figure out and learn all the different kinds of giveaways challenges and swaps there are there are so many things that everyone is swapping that I didn't even know about the pocket letters and the inches and um, the ATCs I didn't know about any of that I've been doing crafts for a long time but I didn't know I don't know how I didn't know I guess I was too busy worried about the store and stuff but once I found it I'm hooked y'all <laughs> I don't think you're gonna be able to get rid of me that easy but I'm really enjoying doing the swaps with people and seeing the different ways that everybody interprets the crafts and how they do it. I've got, so far I've had some really great swap partners. Um, I haven't had any problems, which I've seen where some people online has had problems and I hope I never do, but I'm sure there'll come a time when I do, but Hopefully I won't. One thing we need to make sure of um, is to make sure and get the edge for one thing. But another thing you want to make sure of when you're painting this is that the inside dries really good before you put any drawers in it. Because if you stick them in here before it dries all the way then the drawers are going to stick and you're not going to be able to get them back out so just painting along and talking i hope you don't mind i'll probably shorten the video up a little because i'm sure y'all don't want to just watch me every stroke of painting so i'll probably go ahead and finish this up you can see how I'm doing it now um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the painting up I may touch it up one more coat I think it's gonna be okay because as it dries it'll dry in um, and we're just gonna paint everything cover everything another coat and after I get everything done, I'll come back and we'll put the handles on the little drawers, the little tassels. So, y'all paint, get painting, and I'll be back. When we left before, we had painted all the drawers and we were waiting to let them dry. And then we are coming back to assemble the drawers i've got my little dresser all painted it's dry it's looking pretty good and i've got my drawers um that we're going to assemble and put together i did go ahead and assemble three of them so it wouldn't take as long I have the little drawers here. I'm going to show you what, how we're going to do this. And 
it's going I used a different paper this time um, last time I used the Prima Rose Quartz paper and since I had purple tassels this time I used the Prima Lavender collection and I've just it almost looks the same except for it's a little bit more purple um, since I had purple tassels and the little bling here, last time I used pearls, I didn't have pearls, I can't find any more pearls. So, for those, um, four of them come on a sheet, I've used three of them. It's a Bride's Wish Wedding Collection, Swirl Gem Embellishments, um, Self-Adhesive by Multicraft. Let's see if I can... But I haven't been able to find any more. Hopefully we can find some more. I really like the pearls better than the gems. But this was all I can find. And they only had one. So we're going to try to do this. Um, also, you're going to need some washi tape. Um, on the little drawers, when we put our tassel in... I put washi tape on the inside here all the way around for decorative purposes, but I also put it around here. Um, this helps it slide in and out, and on the inside it helps hold the tassel so it won't pull out when you're using it to open and close the drawers. So, um, you're going to need to cut some paper and really you should measure to make sure exactly last time i cut my little strips of paper that went on front of the dresser um one inch by four inch i cut them the same this time and they come out a little bit shorter on the ends it still looks okay but it's a little bit shorter than what i actually wanted because on the original one you can see it come out on the edges here um, on the ones here on this one I don't know why but it's the same measurements but they're coming out a little bit more on each side you just have to center them but measure just to make sure you'll need one sheet of paper of the 12 by 12 paper it doesn't have to be Prima whatever you choose um, because we're gonna cut a piece this is four and a quarter by two and a half to put on the inside bottom of the drawers. I just think they look nicer that way. I put it in here. So you don't have to, but if you want to, you can. So let's put this little drawer together and show you how to assemble it. Um, first of all, you'll notice that where we took the little knobs off when you painted, it left a little bit of residue. I just take my craft knife and I just scrape it across there a couple times to flatten it out so it won't bulge up when you glue the paper on and if your paint comes up a little bit that's okay because the paper will cover it make sure and get all the little shavings off though um, then what you're going to do is you're going, well, before I glue the paper on, I put a little edge around mine just so it looks like a finished edge. I have gold, um, little stamp pad here, and I just go around the edge. Last time I used pink, and I don't have the right color purple, so I'm using a little bit of gold, just going around the edges so it's not a white edge on the side. You can't really see it unless it's at the right angle, but just so we have a finished edge. Go around it and make sure I got it all good. I don't even know if you can see it. Maybe you can. And the ink pad that I'm using, um, I got these at Tuesday morning. It's a little stack of metallic inks there's a copper color black white silver gold and a bronze silver 
silver, black, white. Looks like brown, gold, and copper. But anyway, this was at Tuesday morning. It's American Crafts Pigment Ink um, for $2.99. Um, there's the number there. Whoop, let me see. I've repositioned my camera, so I'm trying to work. There you go. All right, so that. Um, after you do that, we're going to... I use wet glue for this. This is just a gel glue. I really like this glue. It's by Multicraft as well. Um, but uh, I like this because it dries really quick, just like your glue gun. It strings like your glue gun too, but it works really good and it, it adheres very well. So I'm just going to put a little bit on here to glue the drawer front on and pick that up, put it on our drawer. Smooth it out a little bit. And we're going to let that dry just a minute. While it's drying, we can go ahead and put our washi tape around the outside of the drawer. Um, I just start on one side and I try to get it straight. It doesn't always cooperate with me, but I leave it hanging over. That way I can get it straight. semi-straight <laughs> and like this if you do it like I just did just be careful when you go to cut it off on one of the drawers when I went to cut it off I actually scraped the paint off so hopefully I don't do it again And that just helps the drawer slide in and out a little bit. Okay, now what we're gonna do is I have this Tim Holtz poker thing, the little point. And what I do is I go on the inside and I poke a very small hole going that way so I know where it is. And then I come around and I push it back through this way it doesn't have to be a really large hole, but it's gonna have to be big enough for you to get your tassel strings in there. So, you put that hole there, and then we're gonna put our bling on. And if you'll notice on the bling, right here, there's a little circle. If you can find this same one, you can use any kind, but if you happen to find this same one, there's a little circle right here. And I try to center this hole over this hole and then let it go out and lay down across there. Um, that's the way I did the first one. And it was the same exact design except for it was pearls instead of bling. But I'm going to put this on there and I'm going to center over that little hole right there in the middle. And then I'm just going to let this fall kind of into place. And the center top piece is going to go up just a little bit higher, which is okay. And then I just mash it all down. Now, once you get it on there, you're going to have to poke a hole through the bling piece. And get your little hole in there. And now we're gonna put our tassel on. I just take the string and poke it down in the hole enough to where I can grab it on the back with my tweezers. I have big fingers and I have a real hard time with little tiny things. But I work really well with tweezers, so that's what I try to do. Now, 
I pulled this all the way up to where the tassel is sticking out straight but once I get it tied and everything it'll lay down a little bit I cut this because it's easier for me to tie a couple knots in it with two strings rather than one you can do it either way um, and I tie two or three knots in it to kind of help keep the tassel from pulling all the way through when you use it to open the drawers we're going to do three different things to it to make sure it doesn't pull out if you were to gift it to someone and they use the tassels to open it so let's tie three or four knots in here and make it now don't cut your strings off after you tie your knots because what we're going to do is I hope you can see me I'm going to take the strings and I'm going to lay them straight out from the hole as straight as you can get it you'll get it straight when we put the glue on but now we're going to take our wet glue I'm trying to I can't see my camera so I'm trying to see if you can see I think you can and we're going to put a dollop of glue there in the hole where the knots are and then you're going to kind of string it out a little bit and put your string on it and we're gluing the string all the way across there and just kind of smear it across there that's what I do get it to lay down and we're just going to give it a few minutes to dry and then we're going to run the washi tape around on the inside. Um, a few things while I'm giving this a minute to dry. When you go to put your drawers in, you'll notice that you're going to have to, since you painted your drawers, they're going to be a little bit stiff trying to pull them in and out. And if you'll take here on the sides and push it in a little bit that will help with it going in and out just a little tiny bit and also I take a bar of soap this just cheap bar of soap from Dollar Tree and I rub it on the edges that are gonna be going in and out and I just rub them on there and that helps too and it's going to take a couple times for you working it in and out for it to actually be easy to come in and out but I just rub a little bit of soap on there and you'll have to work it Let's see if you can see what I'm doing here you'll have to kind of work it in there a couple times and when you first put it in don't pull the tassel until you get it where it comes in and out pretty easy you want to pull it in and out a couple times push it in and this way pretty soon after a couple times it'll start coming in and out real easy but I don't want to pull on this until I get my washi tape on the back of it but that and sometimes you might even have to bend the bend this just a little bit but I've been working with these and I've already got the washi on these these open and close pretty easy they have a little bit of an area where they stick a little bit but I mean after you work them a couple times and put the soap on there they they start coming in and out real easy all right we're gonna take this one back out and on the inside I'm going to put washi tape all the way around the edges on the inside and I don't put it all the way to the top I try to put it kind of centered so it'll end up over the thread that we just glued down that's holding that tassel because that's extra support to hold that tassel to where it won't pull out when you use it to open and close the drawers so 
I'm just going all the way around. I put it all the way around. I think it just makes it look a little more uniform. I liked it that way. It's a lot of washi tape, but I liked it that way. So make sure you have a full roll of washi tape when you start. <laughs> but I've just put it all the way around and see right here, I covered up the string with the tassel and I made sure it was dangling a little bit. See, there it is. Oh, wait a minute, let me try that again. There it is. See how it comes out the center right here of the little round circle? Let me try. But. And then the washi tape here is holding the string down. And then the only thing left to do is to put our little drawer liner in. And your drawers are ready. Okay, so that is basically how to make the dresser and make the drawers open and shut. Let me see if you and we got the legs on, we got it painted, we've got the drawers on. Um, now I'm going to take the drawers out. See, it's fairly easy to pull on the tassels and pull the drawers out once you work them a couple times and put the soap on there. The soap's kind of important and you may have to sometimes bend the bend just a little bit, pull it to get it to go in and out. The only thing left that I'm going to do in this segment of it is I want to paint the um edge gold here's one of my little cups i just have some metallic um this is folk art metallic pure gold metallic finish acrylic paint i bought it at walmart it was a dollar and something or two something 269 at the most i think but uh let me shake it up a little bit and I'm just gonna pour a little bit on my little plate thing here. I'm gonna put some on my brush and I'm just gonna go around and dab the edges all the way around. And then I'm gonna let that dry and I'm going to put my drawers back in and then that part of the dresser will be done um, and the only thing left to do now is just decorate it now you can I'm gonna do a part two for decorating how I decorate it so you've got the general idea of how to make it now so you know how to do that uh, you don't have to watch part two. Everybody might want to decorate theirs a little bit differently. And again, if y'all are interested in can't find the boxes at Dollar Tree, let me know if I get enough people that want them. I have to put in like a $500 order to order from the company that has them. So... If enough people want them, I have to order 30 of those, and I can get some other stuff at the same time. But if enough people want them, I will do an order and try to get some for everybody to do. I know this is something a little bit different that no one's seen before, and I thought it was really cute. I was excited when I found the boxes. I'm sorry that they don't have them all the time, so hopefully they'll get some more in maybe or maybe somebody in another state can find them and we can get them to get them for us but anyway in the meantime uh, please subscribe and like and share I'm really wanting to get at least a hundred subscribers so I can have my own YouTube name instead of the great big long link I have to use at this point here and plus two I'm gonna have a giveaway once I get 50 subscribers I might give away one of these little dressers I'm, I'm kinda getting fond of them but 
I might give away one of them if I can get 50 subscribers at least. Hopefully I can get more than that, but we'll see what happens. And I really thank everyone for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it, this video. I hope you liked the tutorial. I hope it was easy to understand. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If there's anything I could do a little bit different or explain a little bit differently, I take constructive criticism very well and I welcome it. So please don't hesitate to give any kind of feedback that you may have. And I really, really appreciate y'all watching. So y'all have a good night. I'm going to finish painting around this edge and let it dry and put my drawers back in. And I will see you in part two to decorate it. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe.